Hi, this is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com. I'm going to do a quick software tour of the Palm Pre. First off, we have our launcher. You can do that from clicking up from the home screen. And we have our four custom customizable icons and our launcher icon at the bottom. So the first one is the phone. And if we flick up on the uh, gesture area here, we minimize that program. We can go to the next. Is our contacts. And these are flick scrolling. Flick up like that. We minimize it again. I can flick through like this. Next is calendar. That's going to load our calendar. Up here we have the ability to show different calendars from uh, Google or Exchange. You know, multiple calendars, they all have uh, different colors. There's one from Google. And this is nice, it kind of collapses free time to give you, you know, easier view of all of the appointments. Uh, there's no year view, you got week, day, and month. There's month. Yeah, wait for it, okay. It shows shaded areas where you have appointments. Minimize that. Next is email. Come on, email. Here we go. Here's my accounts, I guess. I don't know how I got to add account. And this has a nice unified inbox that shows all the emails from all the different accounts based on when they were received. So that's good. I got to do a back gesture to get back to the accounts. There are different accounts there. I can go straight to Gmail and open an email. We have zooming capabilities with a double tap or with your multi touch pinching stuff, which is kind of a pain to do sometimes. Come on. Uh, now I can forward this or reply. Those are the uh, commands at the bottom. Now let me show you copy pasting. Let's get our keyboard out. You gotta put your cursor in there, but we can't seem to do it. There we go. Alright, well it doesn't work over there, but I can do it up here. So you gotta get your cursor in, it's kind of difficult to, you know, get an accurate cursor insertion point with a finger. And then I have to hold down the shift key, and that brings me with some arrows there. And I can do a lot of swiping to select the stuff that I want. That was too much. There we go. And now, if I put my finger and then do copy for or C for copy, that copied it. I put my cursor up there and I hold my finger and press V. That'll paste it. So that's a pretty nice shortcut. So we got them also up here. Paste it like that. Now I got two of them. So that's that. Copy paste, not bad. Kind of difficult with a finger. Next is our launcher. I will show you um, photos. Now you got different sections wallpaper, photo roll, all images. So the photo roll is the ones that I took with the camera. You can see how those look. It rotates. And it zooms with a double tap or with your multi touch. So that's fun. Messaging. These are text messages and instant messages on AIM or Google Talk. It's 
If I tap that, up here I can tap that and see which AIM, Google Talk, or text messaging I want to use to reply. So that's that. If I go back, uh, this button shows our buddies. We're not online right now. Next we have music. Music. So if I go back, sometimes gesture doesn't work. This is really, really great. I love the shuffle all button at the top. I don't have to go in here and find the artist I want or whatever. It's just straight away shuffle all and it starts playing. And if I flick, it goes to the next song track. That makes it, it doesn't always do it instantly, but that makes it really easy to switch tracks while you're in the car because you don't have to look at these buttons down here. Now what else is nice is when the music player is playing, you got this little icon down here and you can still access the next previous and play tracks buttons rather so I can start playing again so that's really nice I love that feature next we have videos camera on and this syncs with iTunes so pretty nice quality Take some loading. Hey guys, and welcome to Vidocity. I'm so that's excited. good. You also have notes, memos. With a fun little graphic push pins. Tasks. These do sync with Exchange, unlike uh, some devices. Oh, oh no! Dismiss unused cards to free up memory. Can't do any more. And close them. Oh, that one came back. So, if you run out of memory you have to manually close a bunch of these programs. Whereas, uh, you know, Windows Mobile will try to close them for you, the unused ones. Google Maps, we already saw. Clock. This is just a clock. And you have alarms. Yep. Pretty basic. Uh, these are some programs that I downloaded, AccuWeather, Tweed, but uh, if I go to the, this side, these are some Sprint added programs. You got the App Catalog, let's try that. And I'll wait for that to load. YouTube, Amazon. that to load, come back to the app store. Oh, hey. And you can look around here, find all these different programs to download. And same with Amazon MP3, you can download music. Pretty good. Sprint Navigation is our uh, GPS navigation program with voice prompts. So that's an important thing to have for me. And it's getting GPS. 
that'll talk. And this is really great. I can still access my music. And it plays the music at the same time. Excellent. Really quick, we have some document viewers, calculator, NASCAR, Sprint TV, and over here are the settings. Yada yada yada, Bluetooth. Alright, taking too long. Um, settings are kind of on the simple side, but I think that can be a good thing. See, we don't have much to do here because too many settings might be confusing and complex. So I think that's what the pre is going for simplicity. Alright, well, that's enough for now with the software tour. Check out our full review on pocketnow.com.